I'll walk right through him, outbox him, out kick him, out punch him. He got outboxed, out kicked, and I mean, short of that TKO, you know, which I give him credit for, he was losing the fight. I mean, you're talking about two guys here who are utter confidence fighters. They ooze confidence to the point of cockiness, to the point of brashness. But do you think perhaps that after going three rounds with Kishida, that confidence has suddenly maybe disappeared from Errol? He's having second thoughts backstage because also seeing the demolition job that Butterhari did on the legendary Peter Ertz, it's got to mess with your mind, Kimbo. I was thinking about it. Was, he was, I was thinking. Um, he was probably trying to reserve himself, knowing he had another fight coming up. But Bada, he took he took some he took a little beating to the legs um, during this, this, the first matchup, and I kind of saw him limping a little bit. So I don't know how, how it's going to take a toll on him in this fight. You know, it's ironic you bring that up, Kimbo, because it just shows the level of knowledge that a fighter would seek. We had we had uh, Ernesto who's sitting here, and even though the fight looked awfully one-sided, where Bada Hari just you know just beat Peter Arch. Uh -huh. That's what Ernesto said. He said, Badahari took some unnecessary leg kicks that may hurt him down the line. It's just ironic that you would bring that up as a point, given the one-sided beating that Badahari Which gave to Peter Which incidentally proved the undoing of Bada last year against Remy Benjassi, because at the end of the day, it was the compelling over and over again leg kicks of Bonjaski that injured Butterhari and gave the judge's decision to Remy. So Butter's got to be careful in these tournament situations not to take that much punishment to the leg. And we do give a lot of credit to Errol Zimmerman for his big thumping right hand, but he's also a huge leg kicker. Semi-final number two. This one, guys, is going to be off the hook. Gokan Saki, Remy Bonjaski, both of them, Mike, highly impressive in their quarterfinal bouts. Super impressive. Both guys very active. Uh, and they have a somewhat of a similar style. Uh, maybe Gokan Saki is not quite as aerial as uh, <laughs> as Remy Bojanski is. But other than that, you know, heavily rely on leg kicks and knees and, and very good defense. Um, I still see Remy Remy coming out as a victorious. You know what, Mike? I'm kind, I'm kind of agreeing with you on that one. Um, I'm liking Bojanski because he's still a fresh man. Yeah. True. Very, very fresh. After all, Bojanski stopping Jerome Lobana by TKO. And, of course, Gokan Sake being pushed by Ruslan Kardayev in their contest. That is semi-final number two. So, guys, semi-final number one. Kimbo, in a word, hurry or Zimmerman. Oh, man. Um... I'm, I'm gonna have to wait to see, you know. I can't really, you know, take a take, a, take an opponent right now. Kim, Kimbo's getting splinters. He's sitting yeah. on the fence. <laughs> sitting on the fence. Sure. I don't have any splinters. <laughs> Badahari all the way. Okay, Badahari says Mike Kogan. Badahari says Michael Chevallo. On the fence says Kimbo Slice. Quickly, Kimbo, Gokan Saki, Remy Bonjaski. I like both. Remy Bonjaski? Yeah. Mikey? I like both. I like both. Yeah. That makes three of us. Here we go. Semi final number one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Fields K-1 World Grand Prix 2008 semi-final bout number one. And now, entering from the blue stage, from Suriname, Errol Zimmerman.
Crusher Errol Zimmerman from Holland makes his way to centre ring, looking to become the youngest ever K1 Grand Prix champion. His record now stands at 6 0, with three knockouts for a 60% KO ratio on the bone crusher. He looks psyched, and maybe. That confidence is peaking yet again on Zimmerman. As we said, he was done no favours by Everton Teixeira in their quarter-final earlier on tonight. Is he carrying some injury? Or is he putting up a very brave face to cover up any doubts he may have here? We will find out shortly. We are joined ringside. It's great to have him here. The big bad beauty, Daddy Sugar Ray. Back in the winner's circle, brother. Well done, Thank Ray. you, brother. Hopefully, you know, I'm glad to be back, and I'm glad to be part of uh, this awesome uh, atmosphere. And as we know, Silverman is one of the young fighters who's actually made it to the semifinals. Brother, where did you pull those spinning back fists out of? <laughs> hey, well, Luke, Kimbo was out of his seat. <laughs> I'm glad, brother. It's awesome to see you here. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here. Errol Zimmerman, a long walk to centre ring, and he is ready to throw down with hurry. And now, entering from the red stage, from Morocco, Bader Hari. Centering, absolutely demolishing Mr. K1, Peter Ertz in his quarterfinal. Peter Ertz, who came in to tonight's tournament as the outright favourite, but a hurry joint second favourite with Remy Benjaski. Nobody thought Butter Hurry would come out guns blazing and absolutely handle Peter Ertz the way he did. But he's back again. It's a fresh Butter Hurry looking to square down now with Zimmerman, Sugar Ray Sefo. This one is going to go bananas. Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, the, the freshest out of all the guys and the sharpest out of all the guys in the quarterfinals is Butter Hurry. And as we know, that's the biggest talent out there today. And um, I mean, the way he won the fight against Peter was amazing. And, you know, he's the one that's looking to be the favorite at the moment. Matahari, his K1 record now stands at 15 and 3. With 11 knockouts, 69% KO ratio for the 23 year old. And look at the intensity on the face of Zimmerman. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. All right, fans, here we go. Semi final action scheduled for three three minute rounds. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with orange trim. He made his way to the semifinals with a third round majority decision win. Introducing Errol, the Bone Crusher Zimmerman. Zimmerman at 6'3", 227 pounds. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black trunks with red trim, he made his way to the semifinals by way of a second round TKO. Introducing the golden boy, Bader Hari. Bader Hari, 6'6", 203, A1 World Heavyweight Champion. His first ever semi-final appearance in the K1 Grand Prix last year didn't make it out of the quarter-final stage against the flying Dutchman Remy Benjaski. It is an all-Dutch battle. Originally, though, Suriname in the blue corner, Errol Zimmerman. Morocco in the red corner of Badahari in the stare down. Between K1's two bad boys, two loudest mouths, two cockiest. What a lineup we've got here. We are pimping ringside. Ray Sefo, Kimbo Slice. Ernesto Hoost, Mike Kogan, and myself, Michael Chavello. 
semi-final number one from the sold out Yokohama Arena in Japan. The Fields K1 yes. World Grand Prix, wherever yes. you're watching around the world, yes. especially all of our fans in the US watching live for the first time yes. on HDNet. We hope you're enjoying it just as much as we are. The winner of this one goes through to the final. They trade league kicks early. And neither man wants to take a backward step. But Both men is, throw with a lot of power, Sugar Ray. This is exactly what Superman needs to do, is actually take the fight to Butter, because as you know, if he sits back, Butter's much quicker and a lot technical when he's landing those leg kicks. Jab it's easier outside. said than done. Right, that's right. Jab outside, thigh kick from Butter. Hurry is the bread and butter combination of the Moroccan. Gloves up nice and high on both men. Jab two from Zimmerman at full extension, leaves the lead leg out there. And Butter pays. Oh, cracks away to the liver section. The slap of that one reverberated around the Yokohama Arena. If yep. this one goes through to the latter rounds into the third, it'll be interesting to see if Zimmerman lasts, given the punishment he take, or he took from Tishira in their quarterfinal. As we said earlier, Bada Hari, the fresher of the two. But still, I think that uh, Bada doesn't look as, as, as focused as he was with Peter. And uh, with Peter, he, he started smoking, and now he's much more relaxed. As opposed to Zimmerman, who's actually looking much better than he did against yeah. Kara. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's absolutely right. Z hurry. Z Zimmerman definitely looks a lot sharper in this fight than he did in the, his first fight. So I guess it just needed to have that first fight out of the way to warm up. Zimmerman in his first ever K1 Grand Prix. Shook off the nerves now. One and a half minutes remaining here in the first round of three. Body shot, belly button through the back there from Butter Hurry. That was a very nice straight right. Hurry in center ring, keeping agile on the balls of his feet. Thought about a Superman punch. Bork right handed Errol Zimmerman. Nice jab, just threads it through the defense. Gets great extension on the right hand and a nice counter from Hurry. Got him against the ropes, no go to the liver, then to the head. Errol in trouble. Here comes Hurry. And Zimmerman tries to juke off the ropes. Zimmerman. And good old fashioned Donny Brook in the corner, right? Zimmerman took that well. Recovered, came back and countered back. So I was just going to say, I don't know about Zimmerman in trouble. He didn't look, he looked like he was doing pretty good defense. No, there. absolutely. But a hurry opening up momentarily. And Zimmerman edges forward, wants to throw the right. Dance. I like to see Butter use that jab a little bit more, just to find his range. Like Ernesto said earlier, in the first fight, you know, used his jab. He was smoking against Peter Ertz, so, you know, for, for this fight, I think he needs to go out, work up his jab a little bit more, just to find his distance. Under 30 seconds remaining here in the first round of three. Jab outside, thigh kick from Zimmerman. Hard one for the judges to call. Right hand there from Zimmerman is. Butter goes to the body. 10 seconds remaining, Butter chopping the lead leg again, thumps to the midsection, Errol shakes his head and says you've got to do better than that, Butter. Right hand lead from Butter, then the jab over the top. End of the first round, we go to the towels, Kimbo Slice. You've got to love that first round. These very two guys mean business. Yes, very exciting first round, very exciting. Kimbo, if you had to lean one way, would you go Butter Hurry, would you go Errol, or do you go a drawn round? I like Butter Hurry. Okay, let's do the run of the table here, Ernesto. Yeah, I agree with Kimbo. I mean, uh, Bada was the aggressor in this round. And uh, although uh, Arrow came back a few times, Bada landed more punches and kicks. Sugar Ray? Absolutely. Bada, Bada worked right to the body. And, uh, you know, like I said earlier, I like to see him use his jab a little bit more, but definitely Bada. And Mike Hogan, we're going to make it unanimous to Bada in the first round? I would have to give it to Bada Hari, but, but only because of activity. I don't think he did any substantial damage to Errol Zimmerman. I think Zimmerman just kind of slowed down towards the end of the fight. The judges do agree. All three judges giving it 10-9 to Butter Hari after one. We are ready to rock and roll. Second round of action. Semi-final number one. The winner to take on either Gokan Saki or Remy Bonjaski. Nice jab. Beautiful jab. Succulent technique from Badahari as always and thrown with power. That's the beauty of watching the K1 World Heavyweight Champion. Almost There's that Jeb Ernesto is talking about. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's what we were calling all along, right? Jab body shot once more and digging away to the liver section. Good handiwork so far from Badahari dominating the boxing contest, then switches up round kick to the head. Errol tries to return the favor off the back leg. I gotta say, I'm quite impressed with Arrow in this fight because in the first one, he just looked 
lethargic, and yet this one he's very sharp. Well, I mean, maybe he needed, uh, as right. you earlier said, uh, said it earlier, uh, to warm up. Right. Well, but he needs to do something though. He needs to he needs to steal the momentum and he needs to start attacking. I mean, you can't just you know keep. Urbana missed with a front kick, then slammed the fire kick on Errol. Under two minutes remaining here in the second. Spinning heel kick to the midsection, looking for the gut muncher. Didn't work for Bone Crusher Zimmerman. I must have been watching uh, when I fought Harmong Choi. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar Ray pulling out all the tricks here tonight as referee gives a brief adjustment to the green guard of Banahari. Zimmerman needs to start throwing down here. Butter circles off to his right, cracks the leg kick, Zimmerman checks it. Shin on shin. Right hand lead, tagging left over the top of the right glove. Good combination from Butter. What I love about Butter is very explosive and very quick. High left round kick. Trying to loop the shin across the forehead of Zimmerman. Oh, oh. Smack back! Smack back! Smack back! Butter Harris gonna ride the count here! He says he's okay. He'll take a breather. There's the right hand we talked about, Kimbo. He landed. Listen to this place erupt. Yokohama Arena has come alive. That's amazing. He went for that right uppercut, actually, and ended up uh, eating an overhand right by Zimmerman. We told you all night, one of the sharpest right hands in all of K1 is on the 22-year-old Zimmerman. And here comes Hurry, taking away to the liver. Then to the head, goes back to the body. Uppercut almost took out the ring lights. Zimmerman tries to thread the right hand again. Oh, big body shot from Butter on the inside. Rocks the head back with a jab. Goes to the stomach once more. Zimmerman pokes his tongue out. You know, I mean, seriously, I mean, if, Butter, if Zimmerman pulls this one off, it's going to ruin Butter. <laughs> well, you know what? But there was one thing that was questionable about Butter going into any of these fights, and that was his chin. Right. Yeah. And obviously Zimmerman just exposed it. No, uh, but it was, a, it, was, it was a very hard shot. And he comes back very good. Oh, he went for the Leco Buster, the spinning heel kick. Final five seconds of the second round. Butter again. Oh, the big oh. Oh my goodness. I this mean, is unbelievable. As you would say, Mike, you can't script things like this. Unbelievable. I'll tell you what, Ernesto, shades yeah. of when we commentated Butter versus Ruslan Karayan. Yeah. Ruslan dropped Butter, then yeah. Butter got up and dropped Ruslan. Well, it may, it, sometimes it looks like, uh, a, it, it's literally with Butter. I mean, he needs to, to get a slap in the hair sometimes to wake up. Yeah. Homeman Choi, same what it thing, like. you know, he playing around, playing around, Homeman Choi knocks him down, Bada gets up and just annihilates the guy's uh, grip. Right. right. Sugar Ray. What no, no, no spinning. No no this is spinning. what K1 is all about. Oh, Rounds of action like that. Absolutely. I mean, and we said all along, love or hate Butter, he's the biggest talent out there today. And he's proven to us not only that he deserves to go to the final, but also the fact that he can take a shot and come back. All what was, three what was, judges are giving that one eight points apiece. So a drawn yeah. round. One more round to go. Three was, minutes will decide. What was the first round? First round was all 10-9 in favor okay. of Butter. Okay. So Butter Hurry is still ahead by a point. Okay. Listen to the applause. This is why K1 is the greatest fight promotion on the planet. No one quite does it. Like K1 and the Grand Prix is the Mac Daddy, the granddaddy of them all. Thrusting jab from Butter Hurry. They are absolutely swinging for the KO here in the third round. That's a beautiful jab by Butter. And all along we've said that, you know, he needs to work off that jab. And that jab's eating uh, Superman's face all night. Oh, nice right hand counter from Butter Hurry to the Schnoggin again. Of Errol Zimmerman, thrust out the jab, full extension, good reach. Zimmerman edges forward, he'll look to fire the right hand and again eats the leather off the lead of Badahari. I like to see Zimmerman move his head a little bit because he's just walking in and eating the jab. Uh, the jab, uh, Butter's jab is so oh, soft. And he drops oh, him in the jab! Great jab. Well, no knockdown, no. says the referee. He upended him with the jab, beautifully done. The timing. 
Well, Badahari shouldn't be Moroccan, it should be Swiss with timing like that. <laughs> I don't think Zimmerman has seen those jabs. I'm sure he wanna get his head out of the way too, but I think they're just too damn fast. <laughs> But still, it goes, it can go both ways. Oh, the big shot again off the right hand! Errol shrugs it off and comes forward. Half a round remaining here in the third and final. Both men are throwing caution to the wind, sticking jab again. Oh, that's and a hurry, foot meets mouth! I don't think someone wants to eat a foot like that. <laughs> <laughs> like foot jab. <laughs> but his jab is like a straight right hand. It's, it's just out there so fast that Zimmerman can't even see it. Oh, right to Zimmerman's hand. credit, he's standing there and taking it. No, absolutely. Including a straight right hand that he just took. K1 World's Heavyweight Champion. Oh, the yeah, it's over. He's down! He's down! He's down! It's over! He's not gonna get up! He's not gonna get up! It's over! It's over! It's good night, That was an amazing fight, an amazing fight. What do you think about that, Kimbo? Man, that was very exciting. Very exciting. Kimbo, after a fight like that, I want to say to you, welcome to our world of K1 Live. <laughs> hey, it's not him to be here. I know Bada, Bada was in his zone, you know, he was in his zone. Errol Zimmerman was in trouble, Bada was in his zone. That was one of the most unbelievable K1 fights we have seen in a Grand Prix Ray for a long, long time. No, absolutely. I mean, like, you know, um, it, this is the type of fight, you know, going back to the days of Vanessa Hoos, Peter Urge, Roland Banner, Andy Hook, all the top names. I mean, this is exactly what it used to be. Let's not be so modest, because you're, you're about that age group, buddy boy. Let's not act like you're a young gun. <laughs> Uh, I'm not oh. you, are, you are, we were taught you are the Mr. K1 as, as any of them. Ernesto, Thank you. Yes. the all-time greatest. Your analysis of that performance as Bada Hari crosses our commentary position gives us the high five. Your analysis of Bada's performance and how he is looking.